is bright. Hey everyone, this is Steven Sproti. Some fragrance first impressions like I always do. These are three fragrances I would never buy, but here I am in possession of two of them. There's One Million Elixir by Paco Rabanne, 212 VIP Black by Carolina Herrera, Herrera, and Savage Parfum by Christian Dio. And I also bought an Amwad fragrance, but it came as a bundle with these two other fragrance is fragrances. So my plan was to basically sell these and effectively get the armage for a very cheap price. But I've just got so many fragrances that I've bought at the moment. I just want to kind of film them to do first impressions. So I have a total, I have loads of fragrances which are just sitting there unsprayed, unsmelled, just because I want to do the video. And I'm so friggin' busy nowadays that it's 10 past 10 now. I'll be spraying these on and going to bed within the hour. So I just don't have the time to do these videos. Better. I'll start off with the 212 VIP. This light is so bright, I can't see what I'm doing. So in typical Sproti style, I've not looked up the notes. I thought it was, my, my, uh, I thought it was a magnetic cap then. Uh, <coughs> yeah, wow. Like, I have nothing against designer fragrances. I know I've talked about like a lot of niche stuff recently and regional doors and artisanal things. You know, a lot of my favorite scents are designers, but they are tend to be they tend to be older stuff or things that aren't really mainstream. Not that I'm like elitist against that. You know, I have no problem with it. It's just most of the stuff just doesn't appeal to me. It's obnoxiously sweet. I always had a problem with sweet fragrances, but I am becoming more tolerant of them nowadays. But yeah, just spraying that now. I can just get this. Just the smell there is just not my thing. No. No. What am I smelling here? Artificialness. Some of my favorite fragrances are synthetic as hell. I have like Potion Royal Black by D Squared. Oud. What's it called? Indonesian Oud by Xenia. Super synthetic, but I love it. Same with the black, the Potion Royal Black. But no, just this, there's something unappealing to me. I don't know. I'm 30, I'm almost 36. This just doesn't seem like it would kind of go with the vibe that I am, my age. I feel a bit too old for this. I know, like, I act quite young. I don't really sort of see myself as a 35 year old person. <laughs> But yeah, this is just something that would never appeal to me, and I can't describe it, you know, there's this... Youth kind of smell? Yeah, that's not for me. I'm not going to waste any more time on that. I'm not expecting good things of this either. The original one million is just cloying and sweet and obnoxious and so loud. I like loud fragrances like Polo by Ralph Lauren, super strong. I spray it in the office and people like 20 foot away can smell it. I have nothing against strength, strength in fragrances, but just it has to be done well. And yeah, so I'm very biased going into this video already, right? So while that's spraying, I'll tell you a quick story about Savage Parfum. I think I've smelled this before. My friend in the fragrance community, he's got a channel called Killer Frags. You've probably come across him. He's a fellow Welsh YouTuber. And not too long ago, he came to my house. We filmed a video talking about Fahrenheit. And I linked to that in the description below, which is really funny because we kind of made a little thing about it. Not just, you know, we had a bit of a, an act going, you know, a bit of a joking thing. I, I think he brought Savage Parfum. I don't know if it's Parfum or the older Parfum, because I'm pretty sure they're different. But yeah, I've also got a leather. Yeah, there's. Again, massive sweetness to this. It does smell similar to the one, the one million I recall. I haven't worn it for a long time, but there's a guy. In, this light is so bright. There's a guy in work who kind of wears it to the office. Not a fan, really not a fan. This doesn't seem as obnoxious. 
I think it has like that ambered sweetness overdose, orangey vibe on the go. But again, note wise, the funny thing is, if it's a if it's if it's if it's a scent that I like, and I can't pick up notes, I think, oh, we're so well blended. This does come across as smooth, like it's jarring, you know. Then it's just. It's not that there's notes jumping out, not giving it a smooth feeling. It's spiky, you know, the, the scent is sharp as well, I don't know, I can't really... It's not as bad as the 2 and 2 though. But... Just not my kind of thing. Also, I'm kind of recovering from an illness, so my sense of smell has been out of, shot, out of whack recently. Yeah. Like, I've wanted to do this video for a long time, just so I can sell these, but I wanted to kind of capture this on film. Right, yeah. I think I've I've knocked my senses clean. I can't really smell this, you know. This is no way a weak fragrance by any means, but I'm struggling to pick it up. The 2 and 2 is a little bit more... It's dried down now. It's not so obnoxious and jumping out, but... There's just nothing interesting there. It's a, a very generic scent that doesn't really display much character. You know, it's what people would say is a nice smell. But to me, I want something more interesting to have more complexity. And just not to have this... I don't know, it's almost indistinguishable from sort of shower gel, you know. It's a very run-of-the-mill scent. There's nothing outstanding here. Nothing good here, even. Yeah. Okay, and to go back to Savage, last year I went to Ibiza. I also went again this year, so my friend was getting married. Covid and shit happened last year, so he kind of postponed the wedding to this year. And I had a really good time. But, totally irrelevant, right? And yeah, so last year I went by myself. I spent seven days in Ibiza by myself. I didn't take any fragrances. <laughs> However, on the very last night, I was coming back to my hotel to get some money. And there were two guys outside who were like sort of, they had all their bags with them. And I saw one guy spray himself. And I was a little bit drunk. And I thought, oh, I've been out here scentless for the past six days. So I walked up to him and said, oh, excuse me, I've just noticed you spraying a fragrance. Can I pinch the spray, please? <laughs> and the guy was like, yeah, sure, me too. Huh? And he handed me a bottle of Sauvage. And I was like, I I'm okay, thank you. Because I fucking hate Sauvage. It's, I, don't think, I don't think I've ever worn it, but I've smelled it on so many people and it's just so over the top strong and it's just... Uh, I hate it. I really hate it. <laughs> However, I believe this Vaj Parfum flankers are better. Oh. There's actually two fragrances in here, I didn't realise. There's also a Zerjoff. Ah, Renaissance, which I owned a bottle of. So... I might do that, give, give, give that a quick spray as well. Yeah, Savage Parfum. Okay, let's do this one quickly. I've got a broken thumb, so I can't really spray too well. I'm always injured. There's never a time in my life where I'm not sort of broken of sorts. Yeah. <laughs> But I believe people are saying that the Savage Elixir is a really good fragrance and it doesn't have that kind of Savage DNA and it actually is really good. So I'd like to try the Elixir, but I don't know if I want to buy a sample of it. I'm definitely not going to buy the bottle. It's really expensive as well from, my, from what I remember. Like 60 mil is it's close to 100 pounds. Like I'm so out of touch with modern fragrances. I don't know what's released. Like this Stronger With You up by Armani is like 20 million flankers or YSL Y. I just... Uh, yeah, my sense of smell is fucked. I can't actually uh, get much. Like, I can hear my ear just swimming, you know, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can smell something. I can't pick out anything. It's a barely perceptible fragrance to me, which is 100% not the case. Like, you know, Dior Sauvage would not make... The Dio wouldn't make a, a flanker to Savage that's unsmellable. 
No, I'm, I'm getting like maybe a bit of lavender. The main thing I get is my ear just pulsating this. Shut up. Nope. I can't get that. And you know what? I'll do the surge off. Renaissance. I had a bottle and I just sold it because it was a nice freshie. Like surge off to kind of citrusy fragrances very well. Which I didn't realise at the time. I thought they were this like resinous kind of Amwaj style brand. But I think their forte is like you know, citrus. <laughs> ah yes, I remember this now. See, I can smell this. It smells much more refined. There's a, again, I'm not sure how natural Zerjaf are with their citrus scents, but there is a certain quality that just, it just stands above the, the, the um, one million and the other one. But to be honest, I remember it was minty, just boring. I was wearing a lot, wearing it a lot in the cold weather. Like I find that sort of freshies for me, they work better in cold temperatures as opposed to summer. Like the coldness and the crisp of a uh, crisp air can make a, a fresh fragrance pop a lot. And that's the experience I had with the Zerge of. But just ultimately I found it a bit boring and I just decided to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just remember they have like a lot of samples and stuff. There's like so many things I've built up over the years. A lot of things. Like I went to a fragrance meetup from a fragrance group that I'm in. And one of the members there got like one of the shop assistants to all do us this big bag of samples. And this was years ago. Like I've got a ton of stuff. See Miyaki. No, see so for her. Low Desi for women. DNG light blue. Ellie Saab. Why is this many women's? I had things like Wood and Wood by Moogla. Just. Loads of shit, man. Yeah, just... I think the plan put once upon a time to do videos and all this, but it just never happened. <laughs> and videos like this is why, I mean, what was the point? Okay, the savage is kind of a bit more alive. What I normally happens is I stop filming, I smell myself, I'm like, oh yes, yes, I smell this now. But note-wise, I have absolutely no idea. I can't really pick up anything. There's a general vibe. But what I will say is not really screechy and over the top like I find the EDT for Savage. This is much smoother. Yeah, it's quite nice. I'll have to definitely revisit this. I mean, this is probably the worst time to do this video. I've been talking for fuck knows how long now, so I'm going to stop this, but... Yeah. The new creation by Dior. Fragrance with a high concentration of fierce charm. Its powerful aromatic freshness lights up with a sizzle of spicy mandarin, precious Sri Lankan sandalwood, and luscious tonka bean colour colour its trail with leathery and bitter aromas. Yeah. Also sandalwood from Sri Lanka isn't that precious from what I know. It's quite common. Lying bastards. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's 25 past now, so I've been talking for 15 minutes. I'm going to end this video and post it because I don't care. But yep, I'll see you in another first impressions video, no doubt, because I got so many new bottles, I need to just film these videos because I want to do it on camera. But I've got a lot and more on the way. Yeah, <laughs> see you guys later.